Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Mamiya C33 Professional. It's an interchangeable lens TLR made from 1965 to 1969. Uh, you get 12 uh, 6x6 centimeter exposures on 120 film. Uh, to change out the lens, you got to make sure that the uh, wind crank is all the way counterclockwise. And then you move this switch from lock to unlock. You can hear kind of a flump. It has a uh, piece that comes up and blocks the film chamber. So you can actually change lenses mid-roll. And after that, you go a little bit back and down and out with this. And the viewing lens, the taking lens, and the shutter swap out. I have the 105 millimeter uh, lens, that's what I got with the camera. I don't have the other ones. Because the shutter is part of it, um, the flash sink is also there. So once you've changed it, you put it back to lock, and then you move this lever to whichever lens set you have on here. Because there is a uh, parallax mark uh, that comes down uh, in the viewfinder. It's a beefy little sucker. It's uh, over two kilograms, about four and a half pounds. Um, the focus knob moves the entire front and it has bellows focusing. It's nice. It allows close focusing. Uh, the 105 millimeter goes down to about two feet, right around two feet, about half a meter. Um, once you get close, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but um, the parallax mark comes down in your field of view and lets you know what's, what part of the image is going to be cut off. And it also has, and I'll see if I can get a decent picture of this, um, some numbers down the side so that once you're well extended, it tells you how many stops allowance you need to make because it acts uh, almost like a, uh, a macro tube. Um, your shutter and aperture obviously depend on which set you have on here. This one, is, the taking lens, is f3.5 to f32. It's in a Seiko shutter that goes from 1 500th uh, to a second plus bulb. There are scale focusing marks on both sides. Um, this one is for 65 and 80 millimeter and then you use these colored lines on this side uh, for other lens sets. It has a film counter and you only use the red window to see if you have film loaded. Winding cocks the shutter and then you bring it back and put it back in the body and there's not film in it right now, so it's not going to act correctly. So you can do what you would do for multiple exposures, or if there's a cut sheet film uh, adapter for this. So if you bring this over, that decouples the cocking from the shutter, and then you can cock it manually. Whoops. And then the uh, shutter will fire. In addition to lenses, there were different uh, viewfinders. This one has a nice uh, bright ground glass. And then it has a nice magnifier. And also, which I enabled accidentally, it has a sport finder. And these pins here, um, there are add-on uh, framing devices because this is for your normal lens, your 80 millimeter lens. There's a two piece lock to it. You spin this guy around and then you slide it over. So your, your feed spool goes here, your take up spool goes here, and this uh, geared part here is part of how it knows you've got film in it and works the film winder.
One thing you have to be careful of, and I was not careful enough of, you need to make sure that this side from the photographer's right is pushed in all the way. I had a uh, roll of uh, expired Ilford SFX 200 in it, and I did not have this pushed in all the way. The manual even warns you about it. So it, it got to where it wouldn't wind on, ended up having to pop the back. So I didn't quite get uh, all 12 images on the roll of film. But I'm going to get some more 120. Amazingly, I'm out right now. And I will shoot this guy again. I'll see you then.